Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian Shia, co-founder of Volkville Basics. Thanks for tuning in to another uh, one of our videos. And today I will be discussing with you the basics of the Appalachian Basin. The Appalachian Basin extends all the way from New York down through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, parts of Ohio, and all the way down to Virginia, and even a snippet of Kentucky. The main focus today of the Appalachian Basin is Ohio, Pennsylvania and West Virginia. This is where all of the oil and gas activity is occurring today. The main formations of the Appalachian Basin are the Utica Shale, the Marcella Shale, and the Upper Devonian Shale. These are all three uh, reservoirs and formations that operators here today are targeting and focusing all of their capital into. And so the Utica Shale extends from Eastern Ohio, clear through uh, Pennsylvania and all the way up into parts of New York. But due to the uh, restriction on fracking that is in place in New York, uh, it is not economical at all to produce from the Utica Shale and even the Marcellus Shale in the New York State. And so with the Marcellus Shale, uh, Marcellus Shale is seen in Ohio, through West Virginia, and into uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, as you can see from this cross section, as you go from east to west, the Utica Shale as well as the Marseille Shale both deepen until you reach the um, steep uplift of the tectonics um, as you get closer to the Appalachian mountain range. And so that's all the way in central Pennsylvania. And there are also different types of oil and gas windows with these um, formations. And so in Ohio with the Utica Shale, you'll have um, an oil window, a wet gas window, and a dry gas window. And this picture perfectly uh, showcases that. There are three distinct hydrocarbon windows and depending on the depths of the formations you can expect different production mixes um, from those and so different operators will choose to produce from a wet gas or even the oil window if oil prices and condensate prices are doing better than gas prices and then some operators will choose to focus on the dry gas windows as gas prices fluctuate and increase um, especially in the winter months. In the recent years, the amount of production of natural gas has skyrocketed in these three states. This has largely um, come from new technological advances as well as uh, artificial lift methods such as plunger lift and gas lift, which are fueling the large increase in gas production in these three states. And so according to the EIA, uh, natural gas production averaged around 28 BCF per day of natural gas last month and also 114,000 barrels of oil per day. And so as you can see, natural gas has is very substantial and oil is also um, being produced, but not at the volumes of, of natural gas. And that's just due to the um, smaller windows of oil production that are seen in the Appalachian region. Some of the major players that you can see here operating in the Appalachian region include EQT, which is the number one natural gas producer in the US, Ascent Resources, Terra Resources, uh, Gulfport Energy, Cabot, Eclipse Resources, and even Southwestern Energy. And so all these operators focus their operations primarily in the Appalachian region and um, are seen from Ohio to West Virginia and even Pennsylvania. Let's discuss some of the largest challenges that are seen today in the Appalachian region. One of the major challenges seen today is the logistics of trucking. This not only includes the lack of um, transporting companies and truckers available, but also the terrain and the overall just logistics of the Appalachian region. As you can see in the background, it's quite mountainous and hilly, and so this promotes challenges for trucking and even uh, road management. And so due to the weather of just the Appalachian region of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, in the winter months, it's quite a challenge for trucks to get to location and to make sure that everything is occurring on time um, and in a safe manner. And another challenge with the kind of in this region is well pad construction. And so as you can see here, this rig's kind of in the middle of a valley and you can't put um, a well pad wherever you want as you can say in Midland where everything's flat. And one of the biggest is just because this region is fueled by natural gas and its main production of this region and basin is, that, is natural gas. The value of gas right now is right around $3 in MCF, and so 
it has nothing compared to the fortune dollar front set that you could see 10 years ago. And so operators are constantly trying to lower their um, costs per MCF to produce and continually uh, produce natural gas. And so right now you'll see a lot of operators focus on the wet gas windows and even the oil windows just because oil is doing um, a lot better. And so that's one of the biggest challenges you see is just the value of gas. And also due to that, you have a lot of restrictions on pipeline capacity. And so you don't have a lot of large pipelines transporting the gas from the Appalachian region, but you are seeing an increase of ethane and cracker plants being built and kind of designed in the Appalachian region, which is meant to boost overall just the job market as well as to use some of the natural gas so that they could see an increase in prices. And so with that being said, I hope you got a clear understanding of the geology, the location of the Appalachian region, uh, some of the major operators, kind of the main types of production and some numbers with that, as well as the greatest challenges that you're seeing today in the Appalachian region. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this video and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Also, please be sure to like this video, uh, comment someone else that you think would be interested in learning more about the Appalachian region, and be sure to subscribe for more content coming up. Thank you.